Hey, what's up everybody? So today, the topic is the letter J, right? I hear so many times people say, man, Jesus is not his name because the letter J wouldn't invent it until the 1500s. You know what I'm saying? So look, let's look into that and let's see if this is really the case, all right? Check this out. All right, so what we have right here, this is called the Blue Letter Bible, right? It'll, it'll translate that word from like Greek or Hebrew if it's in a New Testament or Old Testament, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Matthew chapter two where we see the word Jesus, right? Like right here, Matthew 2, 1, right? So <clears throat> we're gonna look at this. So the word Jesus, it was pronunciated to Jesus, right? I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So this is what the, the, the name is, right? But we actually see, right? So now we're gonna look at this. This is when, this is from dictionary.com, right? The letter J, all right? So let's read this. It says, it says, when was, the, when was J added to the alphabet? J is a bit of a late bloomer. After all, it is the last letter added to the alphabet. It is no coincidence that I and J stand side by side. They actually started out as the same character Okay, the letter J be began as a swash, uh, um, typographical embellishment for the already existing I, okay? So as we read, we, the letter J and the letter I was originally the same letter, right? But then they started merging um, with different pronunciations, the letter J and the letter I, and that's how you get some some words that still I and some or some letters that still I, some letters that still J, right? But look, let's go even deeper. Let's see when the letter J was actually implemented. It says both I and J were interchangeable by scribes to express the sound of both the vowel and the consonant. It wasn't until 1524, all right? So it's saying it wasn't until 1524 whenever, whenever this happened, right? So he was the father of the letter J. It made a clear distinction between the two sounds. It was by the distinction of this sound, that's what would implement it, the letter J from I, right? So now that we have that, let's let's look back at that name that we see in Greek for Jesus and let's see how we got that, right? So if we go back, right? Now add a J to this, right? Add a J instead of an I. And this is how you got this, G Jesus. Now with that understanding, can you see how Jesus got implemented? So it's power in the name of Jesus. Have you ever seen demons get cast out by the name of Jesus? Have you ever had sleep paralysis and you, you couldn't speak, but you said the name Jesus and it went away? Have you ever seen like things happen in the name of Jesus, like miracles happen? Bro, Jesus is very real, man. I hope this video was somewhat informative for you, man. If you have any questions, please comment down below. As always, I love y'all. God bless.